All right, folks, we've been getting several questions on uh, the transmission setup in a Code 504 kit. So we're going to go over some of those pieces here today um, and what engine mount setups that they can be used with here. So we're going to come in down here in our transmission cross member. So this is our transmission cross member. It comes in every single kit. Now what it's mounted on here to is the side saddles. And these side saddles are specifically for, for 4L60E style transmission. So that's going to include your 4L60, your 700R4, your turbo 400s, your, your 350s, um, and your T5s and your T6s, I believe, the, the S10 manual uh, transmissions. Um, so that's going to be what usually comes standard. Now, for example, if you've got an LS engine that you're using a 4L80 style transmission with, you're going to get different sets of side saddles. And with those side saddles, they are not going to be mounted like these. They're actually going to be mounted somewhere behind the factory seam in here. And with those, you're actually going to mount them where you see fit. So you get your engine set down in there um, and mark off where those side saddles would go, where you, where you think they need to go there. Um, moving on to the top hats here, we've got two different top hats depending on what engine mount setup you get. So the one we have mounted into this frame is called our universal top hat. This is only going to come with LS engine mount setups and 4.3 liter V6 setups. That's, that's what's going to come with uh, the universal top hat. Now on this frame we've got LS engine mounts, those have the setback plates as well. Now for the small block Chevy setup we're going to be using this longer top hat. So if you've got just the engine cushion and just the small block Chevy top mount, that's the mechanical fuel pump setup, you'll have this top hat. For the Grand Slam setup, you'll have your two top mounts that go to your block, the setback plates as well, and again, this top hat. So um, you want to make sure you've got that in your kit for sure. And always let us know what transmission you're going to use when you order. Um, we like to know that. That way we get you the right stuff the first time here. Now, for the, we're going to come back to the cross member here. Um, as you see, we've got two bolts, one in each slot. Now if you need to, you can actually put both bolts in the same slot, either in the front one or the rear one. So um, if you're having a little issues getting your transmission installed, try a couple of those options. Um, move your cross member around a little bit. Um, remember what pieces you've got. You're using small block Chevy with Grand Slams. Okay, I should have, I should have this mount. Um, another thing we do with transmissions is the cushion. We actually will change out that transmission cushion. Um, to a different kind of two bolt pattern on the bottom as well as the top to mount to, for example, a 700 R4. Um, so don't, um, don't drill into your brackets unless you really feel like you need to, but always call us first before doing any modifications. So um, keep the questions coming. If you guys have any others, give us a holler.